this, guys, again, if you want to do this problem, what another way you could guys do, would you guys agree that this is over 2 pi? Yeah. So what I can do is I can initially find a coterminal angle. How did you find coterminal angles, Ms. McClellan? You subtract or add 2 pi. Well, I don't want to add 2 pi to this. I want to subtract 2 pi. But I don't really want to subtract 2 pi. Then I got to like, you know, do fractions. Couldn't you guys agree that I could actually just take 3 and just subtract 6 pi over 3? Right? Why? Because by subtracting a revolution, I'm now left with pi is equal to pi over 3, which is just my, which is now I got rid of like the extra fluff, right? The revolution. So my, um, my, extra, my angle, if you guys actually graph this, 7 pi over 3 looks like this. By subtracting that revolution, I'm just left with this angle. And that angle also happens to be my reference angle. Reference angle is pi over 3, because that's how far it is from the x-axis. Okay. Okay.